People testing positive for COVID-19 continues to decline in Washington. We're at similar levels we saw in November of last year. The state's top health experts are still concerned what, that a sixth wave could be coming if people don't get vaccinated and continue other health precautions. More people may soon be eligible to get Moderna's booster shot. The drug maker just asked the FDA for emergency use for anyone 18 and older. The CDC advisors will be meeting Friday to discuss that new recommendation. Right now, both Pfizer and Moderna vaccine boosters are only approved for certain groups, which we know may be confusing. Eleni Dow gives us a closer look at who can now get them. As of November 13th, more than 820,000 additional doses have been given across Washington. However, health experts say there should be more, and they're urging those who can now get it to get it. The thought of another shot against COVID may feel a bit disheartening. The immunity for some vaccines wane over time. And I think one of the things we're learning as these vaccines are in use is um, multi many different types of vaccines require multiple doses, and that's part of what, what's being learned here in real time. Here's who's eligible. Anyone who's received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine at least two months ago should get a booster now. You can mix vaccine types for booster shots, but be aware it is possible providers can turn you away for that. It's just because mixing and matching is allowed, it doesn't mean a individual provider will have all um, three types of vaccine available, especially if you're going to a mobile clinic. A lot of times mobile clinics reduce the different um, amount of vaccine they have there and same thing in a provider office just to prevent medical error. When it comes to the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, it's a bit of a different story for booster doses. Right now, only certain groups can get booster doses. If you received the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine more than six months ago, you're eligible for a booster shot as long as you're older than 18 and work in high-risk settings or have underlying health conditions. That includes having cancer, diabetes, health conditions, and mental health conditions such as dementia or depression. There are a number of different conditions that put you at higher risk. And so if you are uncertain, we are going to say, please talk to your health care provider. As you get ready for booster doses, you can get your COVID vaccine records straight to your phone. The Department of Health just launched an app to make it easier for you to show proof of vaccine as more places require it. I'll give you a look at how it all works coming up on 4 News Now at 6. Aaron.